Hi, I'm going to be reading you May in the Middle, Super Sleeve, written by Andrew Flusk, Peters, and Polly Peters, illustrated by Finger in Drustic's Lit. Lit it. Here's the picture. Chapter 1 The Missing Keys. May was ready for school. Her brother Alec and her sister Rose were ready too, but Mom was rushing around. In fact, she was frantic. Where are the keys? asked Mom, looking in the fridge. I can't find them. We're going to be late. I don't want to be late, cried Laura Ross. I brought a special picture for Miss Johns. I want to show it to her and give it a rest, Ross. Your whining is hurting my ears, Alec moaned. But it's a really good picture. I drew the whole street. May patted Rose's, Rose's tr- shoulder. Don't worry, I'm sure the keys will turn up. But Rose wasn't listening. Here's the picture. Mommy! Rose wailed. It's my turn to feed the class pets and I can't if the, we're late. That's enough! cried Mom. Everyone be quiet. I need to think. Alec rolled his eyes. Well, keys haven't sprouted legs and walked, he muttered. They haven't fallen in love with the key ring and run away with it. And our cat hasn't stolen them because we don't have a cat. We have Nipper. Alec, you're not being very helpful, Mom sighed. I have an idea, May began. Mom interrupted. I'll ring Mrs. Gibbons over the road. Maybe she can drop a, a, you off to school while I keep searching for the keys. May scowled, wondering if anyone noticed if she sh- sh- stood on her head. Probably not this morning. So this is her. Just a Chapter 2. Super Sleeth. Now everyone was rushing around. Everybody, except me. She tried again. I have an idea. No one was listening. May took a deep breath and yelled, Can anybody out there hear me? Everybody stopped and stared. So this picture that she was yelling. <laughs> she was just like, Can everybody hear me? And then everybody just froze. No need to shout, darling, said Mom, who was punching numbers into the phone. What is it? I'm really busy here. You should retrace your steps. When did you last see the keys? Asked me. You're not a TV detective, you know, Alec teased. And um, and as Mom said, you're not being very helpful, hissed May. May had a point, said Mom, cradling the phone. I think, well, I drove May and Ross home yesterday afternoon. Yes, that was the last time I saw the keys. So this is them in the car. And then this is them. This is him. This is it. Alec teasing me. Good, said May. Good, echoed Ross. How does that help? Who lost the keys last time? Ross? Ross? May asked. Ross sucked her thumb and looked at the floor. Oh, yes, said Alec. Ross dropped it down the drain, remember? It was super sloth detective who found the Just me and an old coat hanger in the rain. Ross frowned. I, I, I was only little.
May sat down to think. She stared at Rose's picture on the table, but her thoughts were interrupted by a shout from Mom. Oh no! Is it that the... Is it that the time? Asked Mom. There's no answer from Miss Gibbon. I'm going to miss the train and be late for my meeting today. Ross started sobbing and moaning about the pictures of guinea pigs. Alex threw his bag on the floor. It's time up to me, May thought. Then she gasped. I w- gasped. I wonder. So this is him getting the the key, and this is her thinking about another friend. I should 